What would happen if we were out in the mountains hiking with the Doberman and I fell and hurt myself and I couldn't get up? What would he do? I think he would leave me. He would help. Or you, I don't know what he would do. So we're gonna find out. As with most dogs, when he gets a new place to run, he likes to really show his stuff. <laughs> he likes to carry on. So he's, we, we're going up here into the holler to uh, an old barn, a place that uh, some people used to live up here years ago. And uh, look at some natural beauty and some old, old West Virginia stuff. <laughs> so I decided to take him for a walk. Good for my health, good for his health. We're gonna go out in the in the wilderness and, and walk. Now, I actually had a comment that suggested that uh, we do a video of one of his walk in the nature, and that's what we're gonna do in the nature. <laughs> in nature, I guess. So it's one thing we have an abundance of in West Virginia is beautiful, beautiful nature. And it's fall, so we've got more of it than usual. This is a place that he usually goes and he runs. We take the side by side up here. And we ride and he runs, so he's probably going to be a little hard to keep track of. He's used to running full steam up through here, and there's no way I'm going to be able to hike like him. Okay, I think he did pretty good considering. You know, what's he gonna do, you know? He stayed with me, and I think that's the important part. It seemed like he, I wanna think that he checked the area for predators. He wanted to make sure that we were safe. That's what I wanna think, I wanna believe that. <laughs> he, he didn't go running for help, but that's not really his instinct. His instinct would be to stay with me and, and protect me. He was running pretty much willy-nilly until I would call for him. And then uh, he would come back to me. But then after I was kind of down, he, he didn't go very far from me. So you did okay, buddy. You did pretty good on that test. You're a good boy. That's right. So Cruz is a five-year-old Doberman Pinscher. Most of my videos, I have to say he's a four-year-old Doberman Pinscher because we started making really reg... Gosh, he's zipping on. Started making really regular videos of him about a year ago. Come on, let's go. I'll leave you. 
All right, so there's a lot of dogs who run off from their owner. Cruz is not one of them. One of his fears is that we'll leave him. <laughs> if I get out of his sight, he's going to be worried, come running to me. Now, in this area over here, I'm not worried about him as much. Here he comes. <laughs> I know you come. So, the most difficult thing about taking a Doberman Pinscher to run whew, is keep it up and uh, trying to make sure he gets enough exercise uh, while well, he stays within a safe range. Now luckily here in West Virginia, we have this wide open space that I can just kind of let him go and every few minutes make him come back to me and uh, make sure he's safe. Now he's marveling at the beauty the same way I am. I swear he went to this cliff on his own. He's wanting to look over and see how beautiful it is. And, uh, and I get to look and see how beautiful he is as he admires it, you know. Okay, so you've heard a thousand times how we live in the middle of nowhere and we have a lot of freedom with our dog, but that also comes with the fact that other people have some freedom with their dog. And there's a German Shepherd up here that runs free and he likes to come out and chase. I'm trying my best to prevent a fight between these two. So I've got him kind of tied in the side by side and uh, we're gonna ride by there kind of fast to try to avoid any confrontation. He wants this guy to come chase him, I can tell. He is. He's on purpose announcing that we're coming so that this dog might chase him. I don't know what he's doing. No. There he goes. Alright, so we made it by the German Shepherd Gauntlet. <laughs> He wants it. 